So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So I have a clip right here, and I think one second transition is really good for me. So what I do is just cut the last one second of my video clip, so that I can apply the transition. Now we got our one second clip. What I'm gon' do is just duplicating the clip by holding out in keyboard. Once we did it select the bottom clip and go to effect control. And here search for opacity. In this select this free draw bezier tool. Now in preview tab change the resolution to 100 to make a proper selection. Starting from top right corner make a point of your mask here. And make the point as well as here. And make another point in left bottom side also. Now join the end point. Now we got our perfect shape in here. Now copy this mask. And by selecting our top clip just go to the opacity and paste it right here. And make sure that it is inverted. Now we got our two different clips. Now we have to nest this two clips because we have to apply some effect on them. For that right click on bottom clip and select nest. For top clip right click on it and select nest. Now go to effects panel and search for transform. Now drag it onto our both clips. Now select our bottom clip and go to effect control. And here we got our transform effect. Make sure that your playhead is at starting of your clip. Now click on this stopwatch of position to add a keyframe. And now move to the end of your clip. And change the position values to zero. Now to make the animation smooth select the last keyframe and right click on it and select ease in and for the first keyframe select ease out now uncheck the use composition shutter angle change the shutter angle to 180 degree this give a little bit of motion blur to our effect and now do same for the top clip make sure that your playhead is at starting of your clip and click on this stopwatch of position to add a keyframe. Now change the values to double of, default values instead of zero. Like we have our x axis 1440. If we multiply it two times, then we get 2880. We got our y axis value like 810. If we multiply this, we will get 1620. Now this is perfect. Now uncheck the use composition shutter angle. Change the shutter angle to 180 degree. Now select the last keyframe. And right click on it and select ease in. And for the first keyframe select ease out. Now we can see that our transition is ready. But to create a break in this effect. Once again go to transform setting. Now create a keyframe like this and now extend this position. And here you got two different line and just drag the lines like this. Now select the another clip do same for that. Create a keyframe and extend the position and drag the line to downwards. Now we got our break in our transition. And now move your nested clips one layer above. And drop your second clip that you want after the transition. That's it for the tutorial on creating a spilt screen transition in Premiere Pro. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more Premiere Pro tutorials, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next.